Alrighty, we're going to attempt this again. Okay, this is uh, Odie's uh, Ultimate Skyrim. I've been working on this mod list for many years, about five years. Uh, so we're currently at about 894. Most of that is patches. So here's the actual numbers. Right at the limit here at 253 on the ESMs and ESPs. Uh, so we'll talk about this first section here. I am using EVLAS for the light, which is problematic. Notice I'm not using an underside because it's an issue with Dinduad. Using old versions of everything. This is for Skyrim SE, actual SE 1.597. I will never upgrade to the cash grab abomination that is AE, so please don't even ask. Uh, this is, most of these mods are only going to work with SE. Um, quite a few of my texture mods, of course, are going to work with just about any version, but you can see here I'm using a bunch of different texture mods, and if you see this little icon right here, that means I've uh, hidden a file somewhere. I've layered all these texture mods. And I've jerked around with this for, like I said, about five years, trying to get everything to work the way I want it. But here's an example. I'm layering Tamarelic textures on top of Cathedral. But I'm only using some. So if we go and we look, you'll see um, I've hidden the cube maps. I've hidden all the LOD. Uh, now, I'm sure people are going to disagree with some of the stuff I did. Like I'm hiding dirt from this mod. I'm using dirt from a different mod. So that's a little explanation. If you see these little icons here, it's because I've hidden files within the mods themselves. I've also went and changed the color, like this Cathedral Landscapes Complex Grass. I changed the color on every file in here. You'll see there's the originals, all the originals, and then there's a new version, like here, um, I I darkened up this grass because I thought it was too too light. I did that for all of it. Um, I used to use blended roads, but now I, I just really wanted dirt roads without the little brick type of uh, look to it. I'm also using Project Clarity for all the armor. It, it really really made a big difference it's also a huge mod i forget how big it is but it's gigantic all this stuff will jack up your vram usage dramatically um especially the uh the parallax stuff uh so my vram usage at 4k is in between 14 and 15 gigabytes which is outrageous go down to little skase section here You'll be able to see, I'm not going to go through and explain everything here, but you'll notice I'm using old versions of a lot of stuff because they work. And I'm not about to upgrade something that's working. I, I know there's people that, you know, are, are the very first to upgrade to something. I'm the very last to upgrade to anything. I wait until the dust settles. I research it. And then I'm very careful, I'll make a new profile, and you'll see I have a bunch of profiles up here that I test with. Um, but I, I don't just upgrade to the latest version of a mod, because is, that's a sure way to break shit, man. So, this mod right here will dramatically fast, or uh, increase, I'm sorry, decrease your loading times. Uh, this will shave about half the time off, so if it's taken a minute or whatever, to load the game, this might drop you down to 45 seconds, maybe 30 seconds if you're lucky. I'm also using .NET's uh, script framework, which only works with SE as far as I know. Uh, it's because I'm using several different mods uh, that require it. So here's the Fuzz Rodeo right here. This is the version that I'm using, 1.7. That's for SE. This is working with Mantella and Herica. And that's just an SKSE. I've not 
jerked with it at all. It just works. I'm using obviously a bunch of face uh, facial animations uh, expressions. I've changed the menu a lot because I hate all that crap on there. Uh, one of the main mods that I use right here, less intrusive HUD, along with um, the camera mod. I forget which one it is. I don't even see it. It's in here though, but I use another camera mod. Oh, customizable camera. And these version numbers are absolutely critical for this to work on SE. Uh, not for every mod, of course, but for some of them, absolutely critical. I'm using Alternate Conversation Camera Plus, and I've changed the way that it works. Smooth Cam, the Easy Easy preset for Smooth Cam, because I didn't, I don't like all the extra crap. Clean Menu, and here's my nude loading screens that I used to use when I was streaming the adult version on PlexStorm. Can't use that anymore, obviously. In fact, I've gone through a lot of effort. This is an adult build, um, but I've pretty much stopped nudity from happening. Uh, and I can explain that further in detail if anybody ever asks. But it's complicated. But basically, I have an adult version of the game, and um, I can stream it on Twitch and really not have to worry about nudity ever happening the way I have it set up. There's only one situation where it could happen. That is if an NPC equips a multi-piece armor set that has no bottom. In other words, no pants or whatever. They can still, females can still be naked. No fall damage, I hate that crap. Realm of Lorcan is, is the... Uh, the alternate start that I use because I like it and I'm using an old version of it because I had issues with the latest versions. Uh, you can see I'm using relationship dialogue overhaul RDO with Herica. I've not had any issues. I think I may have modified it though in SSE edit. You can see I use a lot of different stuff here. I use the old version of the creation kit, loot, old version of SSE edit, um, I don't use FN FNIS, I use uh, blah, blah, Nemesis, Body Slide, Outfit Studio, I'm using old versions of Dindulad. I use Nifscope all the time, Rye Bash, uh, Mater Smash, Xload Gen, never use Poser anymore. I use Resaver all the time to check my saves, like if I wanted to check my save right now. And I do this religiously, even while I'm playing the game. I will check my save. You can see I've cleaned one right there. That's why I made some modifications to uh, my build. Normally I don't do that, but I had to because a certain mod was creating issues. You see I had no errors there. I also have no errors up here. I don't leave stuff in the overwrite folder. So back to this. Um, you can see a lot of these mods are all required for other mods. I use Smalls uh, and NPC Clothes Changer to equip underwear to NPCs. Use Outfit Manager to uh, be able to change the default outfits on NPCs. That's vitally important if you want that NPC to keep a particular outfit on. You have to change the default outfit in the game itself. This mod allows you to do that. Uh, well, these are all support mods. Here's one I use. That's the zoom that I use, the new vision. Oh, I'm sorry, no, this is the de the life detection. Life and de death detection mod that I use. This is the zoom mod that I use. Closer look. So this allows me to zoom in. It's configurable with an MCM. Using the World Encounter Hostility Fix for Mantella, and Herrick, of course. I was using this mod. Uh, it's been disabled because I'm not entirely certain it's not causing issues yet, so I have to do further testing on it. We'll see what type of animations I'm using. Um, 
both uh, DAR and A, or I'm sorry, OAR, Open Animation. Different female walks. You can see I've edited some of those, and I've layered some of these animations. Badass get-up animation is one of my favorites. It allows the uh, your character to do the kind of little kung fu flip and get back on your feet move. I love that. Uh, delicate female sit animations uh, allow the ladies to do to sit cross-legged. More of a lady style swimming animations. Nazima Nazimization makes uh, Nazim walk like a brother since he is a brother. Spell sword moves at the Venor Venergan animations. Simple dual sheath. Whole ass load of sound mods. Some of the bard stuff, new bard songs, BA bard songs, Sounds of Skyrim, and then all these music mods are all merged. That's why they're all... So like, if I click on one, you'll see that the ESP is hidden. It's been merged up here at the top. Um, right there. Music mods merged. I'm using an old version of this because it works. I'm not about to go through all this crap again with all these music mods. Uh, Potty Mouth Thieves Guild adds some profanity. More to say, does exactly what it says. Character mods. This is um, a bunch of different uh, stuff pertaining to NPCs. Realistic hair colors is, is one that I, I think makes a big improvement on vanilla hair color. I'm not going to talk about all this stuff, though, so we'll just kind of go down this list. And if I see something, like this one is a really good one that gives the skimpy outfits to the uh, immersive winches. It's my favorite. Botox for Skyrim uh, pretty much improves the looks of every female in the game. Highly suggest it. I'm not using all of them. Marvelous Mirabelle allows Mirabelle to live and uh, become a follower. Since I like Mirabelle, that's why I have that. I'm using a bunch of the bitchin stuff. Remodeled armor does a skimpy version of the armor. See, I'm using Slongs of Skyrim, but I'm also using SOS Uncloaked, which stops the Schlong from being distributed to other male NPCs or anybody for that matter. So the only person with a Schlong is my character. And that's if I equip it. So that's how I stop the nudity on the males. Can see I'm using the underwear version here. The way I get around that for my character is I have an armor mod, a nude armor mod, right here, Odie's custom nude body, where I made nude bodies that are armor that I can equip or I can give to an NPC and they can have a nude body. That way there's no, no mistakes here. The only way somebody's getting naked is if I give it to them. Um, bunch of different overlays, tattoos, bunch of different hair. I use the great forest of white one hold, so I have an ass load of trees. And I use um vanilla uh, trees. Origins of the forest. All these patches for um, the Great Forest of White Run for like the Elysium Estate. Bathing Beauty uh, Luxury Suite. Add some trees to Solitude. The 16k version of Parthenax that looks like the Game of Thrones dragon. This is a pretty killer mod. This is also really cool, the glowing symbols for College of Winterhold. It's not just the College of Winterhold, it's wherever that symbol is used. 
Use a bunch of different tree mods. Less ugly tund tundra grass is one of my favorite mods of all time. Gets rid of that really ugly orange tundra grass. Highly suggest it. Use the Sky Shards mod. Because you know, I used to play ESO. These are all texture upgrades. The fire mods I use right here. You can see I've got the old version still checked here, and I'm not sure. I'd have to go and look at that, but actually using the 5.1. Same thing with uh, embers. I've been experimenting with the fire mods to try to get the fire to look the way I want it. Frost effects. Using the old particle patch because it works. But you see I've changed something about it. I've excluded something. Most likely the torch since I used the true torch mod. Uh, the new flame atronach. That is the one that I modified and added... Um, I added a bikini so that the flame after knock is not naked. So if we go and open the flame after knock, you'll see that she has a bikini top, well, sort of a bikini bottom. That took me a long time to figure out how to do that, since it's not a standard body, it's not a the, the Atronach uses a custom mesh, not a CBBE or BBA or anything like that. Uh, sea Enchantments is one of my favorites. I've tried the, the, the newer versions of Enchantments and had issues, so I had to go back to Sea Enchantments, which just works. The horses, I had to go through a lot of effort to make the horses work right with the fluff. I have the fluff mod was affecting the horses I had to stop that because it clips through the saddle so I have upgraded saddles in here somewhere I'm not sure where but you can't have fluff horses and uh, fancy saddles because it'll clip through a lot of texture mods there's the true torch mod that I really like but it's got issues it's got issues with animations but you can get around it that's why I haven't gotten rid of it, because it really makes a big improvement, but it uh, does not work perfectly. This is the main mod that I use to do the dirt roads, also the snow roads. The more dirt, snow, and ash on roads. Using the old version of Better Dynamic, dynamic Snow, 211. Why? Because Parallax works on it, but actually I'm not even using Parallax right now. Because I've been having some issues with it. I can't get all the textures to look perfect with Parallax. So I just kind of put it on hold for now. While I try to come up with a new plan. Some of the snow stuff does not look good with Parallax. At least not with the textures I'm using. So I may revisit that in the future. Yeah, still all texture mods here. Some armors in here. Cloaks. Now, the reason that it's in this spot is because I just haven't moved it to the to the armor section yet. I obviously missed that one. So here's the mods that I had some issues with. Vibrant Weapons, EA, E and enchantment art extender which it is required for it this causes problems with followers uh, the weapon will cause a follower to disappear sometimes and you can't get them back without reverting without shutting down the game and then reverting to a previous save so that's why this stuff has been disabled and i don't like all the effects so i've disabled a bunch of that using a bunch of physics Stuff like unlimited sprinting, better jumping, 
Some of this is for the combat mods, which you'll see down here further. Storm Lightning is awesome. The Liminal Portals, Portals mod, awesome, I love it. FEC, Frozen Electrocuted Combustion, awesome mod. Red Shock Spells for my Sith Lightning. Although there's some of that in um, Invasion of Skyrim. This is the main mod right here that I use. And I build everything around is Invasion of Skyrim. It's a Star Wars mod. But it's not a... Like, it does not add Stormtroopers or Vader or anything like that. I have a bunch of lightsabers. I use the Way of the Force. that adds all the holocrons. Got some lasers and blasters if I ever decide I want to use them. Along with the animations. Elemental Fist for hand-to-hand, a -hand. bunch of different weapons, really cool ones like Kemper's Weapon Collection. This armor right here, Project V Reborn, is totally killer. Uh, it's all chrome, almost looks like a mech. It's badass. I use older version of Proteus because it works. Bunch of Fendrix mods. Fendrix is the one who did Proteus. Ordinator, Apocalypse, Odin. Blink spell is, is the number one spell that I use to teleport because you can spam it. It requires um, that .NET script. There is not another spell that I found that's like it. It only works on SE. Fireball knocks back. Does exactly what it says it does. It allows you to blast some with a, someone with a fireball and knock them way back. You can adjust that with Proteus, the knockback effect. Dragon Run spell, that's because I was just too impatient to wait to get it. Subtle healing reduces all the effects from the healing spells so you don't have all the swirling shit around you. Uh, I can't see when that's going on. Run faster. I absolutely have to have that. That way I don't have to wear a ring or any special armor. I can just cast a spell to run faster. Version of Mantella that I'm using, 10.1, old version. Wait, actually, I think this might be 10.2. I think this is the latest version. Uh, Erica is the 21.21 version. And then I've got a custom audio package where I've, I haven't i have replaced all the vanilla dialogue lines, but a, a lot of them, most of the ones. Then uh, my custom replacer, Esmeralda. These are all followers through here, along with their custom armor, if they have it. Some of Cold, Sud, Cold Sun's mods have custom armor if you have the armor installed. Uh, Drenae Near, I totally customized her, redid everything about her. You can see I've using a Nyx replacer for Arlen. So with a lot of these, I'm using um, you know replacers to to improve the looks. Made some of my own replacers, like uh, Sybil at the Blue Palace. She was just too ugly. I had to fix that. Use Queen of the Damned for Serana to make her deadlier. <laughs> I use Serana Follower Framework to manage her, since she is uh, unique with her AI. You don't want to use NFF on her until you've completed all of her quests. Once you complete all those Vanguard quests that involve Serana, in other words, you kill Harkon. Once you kill Harkon, you can import Serana into uh, Nether's follower framework. Sleep in lingerie, exactly what it sounds like. I got a bunch of lingerie. All kinds of armor mods. Silver light armor, that's from LE. Uh, Legendary edition of Skyrim. I converted that to SE and added physics to it and then changed the textures. So I have a custom version of Silverlight and the Warglide that goes with it. So a bunch of different armor 
mainly for females. Portals of Skyrim is one of my favorite mods just because it looks cool. I have an older version of Legacy of the Dragonborn. Obviously I've hidden something within that mod. I made this mod. This is the mod that caused all the controversy. Odie's Battle Tent for Legacy of the Dragonborn. It's because uh, the jackass that makes this mod uh, is a jackass. I'm not even going to go into detail about it. Uh, but that's what caused me to remove all my mods from the Nexus was the way I was treated by that asshole. Bathing Beauties, uh, that's the BBLS. I'm using the old version of that because I had issues with one of his newer versions. I imagine he's probably fixed it by now and I'm talking about Miguel, Mike. Elysium Estate is my main house that I use. Here's one of my brothels, the Kinky Princess, which I'm in the process of modding the uh, NPCs inside there. Bunch of different homes, dungeons, and different stuff to go explore. Some armor that's out of place here. Uh, all the L armor is just awesome by Frost Abyss. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Then we get on to the sex mods. I'm using the old versions, of course, of uh, O-Stem. You can see I'm using 5.4. And you're saying, well, Odie, why don't you use the new O-Stem standalone or whatever it's called? Uh, I tried it. It was janky. I didn't like it. I deleted it. I'm using the older versions because they work. And they have nice fade-in and fade-out effects. So maybe he's changed that by now. I don't know. You see, I'm using all the older stuff. Including the alignment that works with O-Stem 5.4. Now, that's just been added... I think recently to host him standalone or whatever she calls it now. Got Sex Lab running too. And it's mainly for some of. It's mainly for Shadow Men's mods uh, to get those funny responses from the different uh, NPCs. That's the main reason I have uh, Sex Lab installed. Well, this one apparently requires it, the Kinky Princess. You can see these are all the old ones that I don't use anymore. Or they were Ostem standalone. Yeah, there it is right there. You know, I congratulate the dude on his efforts, but uh, it's just not quite there yet, in my opinion. Exploding and summoning arrows. Those things are lethal. Odie's Quieter Horse Breathing, another one of my mods that does exactly what it says. It does not remove the sound, just reduces the volume. Paraglider, one of my favorite mods. Ring of Invisibility, another one. Public Executions, another one. Headhunter, another one. These are all awesome mods. A Skyrim on Skuma, I think that's a J Serpa mod. Come a Skuma dealer. Since my Herica follower Esmeralda is a Skuma addict. Enchanted Arsenal, another one for weapon effects. Bunch of jewelry. Outfits, patches, uh, Divine Elegance store. Christmas mods. Like this, um, huh, I don't see the actual, oh, there it is, Spirit of Saturalia, or however you pronounce that. Awesome mod. I can't remember if that's a J-Serpa mod also. It might be. Um, Ashtarath, some of the, some of this one's uh, armor is really awesome. Left-hand rings, so you can wear two rings. I tried mods that had more than 
left and right hand rings and they're problematic. Bigger spiders, nastier spiders. Using the kids are all right. This is the newest one. At least I think so. To uh, change all the NPCs of the kids. So that they're not little potato heads. All the winch mods. So the hateful winches, deadly winches, judge, judgment winches, forgotten winches. Um, this, this was all very difficult to get to work and it only works with specific versions of these armors. Uh, I think I spent weeks dicking with all these to make the winch mods work. And I can't remember exactly what I did. Dealing with Daedra is a interesting mod. Shadow of Skyrim, uh, that's an alternate death system. I highly suggest it. Uh, Wearable Lanterns, another one. NFF, Follower Framework, I use all the time. Knew that was going to happen too. Someone always interrupts me when I'm doing a video. Always. Pisses me off to no end. Ah, here's the saddle retexture that I use. It's not going to work on fluffed horses though. So I removed the fluff from the horses so that the saddles would work. It's a compromise. Faster horses is exactly what it sounds like. I use speed. Soaking wet. Character wetness effect. I have another one um, up in the sex mods. It adds that wetness effect to uh, your character and your followers. Cannabis Skyrim. Adds the head shop right outside White Run. Using a Enhance lighting effects because I don't like Lux. I tried Lux, couldn't get it to look good. Um, now I didn't put a whole lot of effort into it, but I had less issues with uh, ELFX along with the uh, ELFX shadows. Fantasia landscapes that's um, that's a parallax one, but I'm not actually using the parallax from it, I'm just using normal textures from it. Oh, sunlight through mountains. These are a bunch of patches. Uh, this one allows you to uh, control the, the dressing, the undressing, and the houses. Using the Dear Diary dark mode, so I have all the dark menus. Icy Mesh uh, remaster on all the icebergs and ice caves and so forth. Really looks awesome. The uh, Dragonborn uh, voiceover. I use the Geralt voice, which is no longer available. At least not the, the full thing. I just happened to download it before it was taken off the Nexus. Can't find it anywhere now. There's a bunch of mods here that are no longer on the Nexus. Bathing in Skyrim. Awesome mod. Along with custom animations. I use a Frankenstein version of water for EMB because I'm just not happy with the latest version. So I actually use the ESP from 122, which is the ancient version of it, but the actual water at a distance, the LOD water, looks best, in my opinion. I'm using some of the assets from 162, and it looks really good, in my opinion, uh, so I'm not upgrading. Obviously, I use uh, Nemesis, using some uh, mods for Nemesis, like this horse, Horseman Torch Wield Fix allows you to hold the torch on the horse correctly. Precision, True HUD, a bunch of MCO mods, uh, like the Dodge, all this shit's all for uh, the MCO mods. Judgment Cut End is awesome. Finisher Move, uh, stylish, stylish Dodge, another one that adds cool dodge effects. True directional movement, PC head tracking, these are all vital mods in my opinion. Dual wielding unlocker. So yeah, it took me a long time to figure all this out. This is not something that you can just, you know, toss these mods together and expect it to work. 
I dicked, dicked with this shit for months. And I've got, like I said, about five years into this build. So you can see all, all these different uh, combat move, custom combat moves. Using Elden Ring and its uh, weapon arts effects. Chinese Kung Fu, these are unarmed animations. Bruce Lee unarmed fight pack, awesome. Allows you to do knockback damage. Maximum Carnage for gore. No stagger mod because I'm using stagger lock. And you can get staggered. Your character can get staggered so bad that you cannot even fight back. So I had to I had to disable that. I can still stagger other people in the game, of course, because you know I'm a cheater. All my custom patches, snow patch, water flow patch, my Windhelm snow fix patch, snowy landscapes and snowy regions, I had to modify that in the creation kit. I had to go and do a bunch of landscaping around uh, your highness from the cannabis mod because the trees all over the place. I had to add damage to the water to get the uh, bathing uh, mod to work correctly in the water. There's all my final patches, um, obviously all my body slide output. I customized uh, an, an OAR animation because I didn't like it. I removed it, at least I think, or I replaced it. So within OAR, I was able to do that, and that's where I put that file, that JSON file. My Nemesis output, my dirt texture down here that I added recently that looks really good. You know, I need to move that up, but I, I have stuff that sits down at the bottom, and then I move it back where it's supposed to go. Text gen output, X low gen, bash patch, smash patch, my Dindelot output, and my occlusion. That is it. So you can see, this is my load order. Uh, my load order is all loot. So now some of this, some of this is is not obviously. Uh, like this TK, uh, the kids are all right patch. I made that a late loader. I made Cold Suns Yasolda, Yasolda a late loader. Uh, to get her to work correctly. My battle tent mod, I made a late loader, snow fix. So all of these underneath water for EMB are late loaders that I modified in loot to get them to work correctly. So you have to kind of understand how these mods work to make a load list. So I use loot. Um, although, like I said, any of the ones with the little face next to them, like these, little person. These are ones that I changed into a late loader. So if we go and we edit the metadata, um, you can see I have it set to late loaders rather than default. At least I think it was default, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, it's a late loader. That's why it's got the little person there, because it's been modified by me to load in that particular area. But if I go and I do a sort with loot, it'll say no changes. And if we look at the entire list, we'll see there's no errors. No errors. This is what you want. No errors. <laughs> patch or like this one Jessica's wearable lantern I never could get it to work so I don't even use it it's not necessary so like I was saying no no errors here in loot and that's pretty important that means I've cleaned mods that had um, ITM records identical to master but that's it. That is the, the mod list. I figured this video is like a half hour long, maybe longer. Ah, it's 40 minutes. Oh my god. But uh, thank you for watching. I wasn't really going to go into you know any more explanation here because it's just too complicated. But anyways, have a good one. Thanks for watching.